and he's attacking me from my cliff. <laughs> it's interesting. I can't. Uh... Yep, you got to move in at some point. You don't want to just lose too much. There you go. But make sure to space yourself in between shots. See, your Colossus are all in a bunch like that. Good. Excellent job. Excellent job. And look who's on top. That's probably going to be the nice. end, isn't it? Uh, well, you got to keep warping in. Uh, keep chrono boosting and, and make that mothership. So maybe some void rays with all this extra supply. You can upgrade blink. Wherever your forge is, it's got to be doing something. Maybe make I a think second. It's, I think it's getting weapons still. Oh, it finished. Make a fleet beacon, and you can definitely move out. If you think this is enough, you can do it. Um, I will tell you that as long as he's done a good job managing his economy, this would not be enough. So it's a big question mark. So usually when you win a fight like that, just take it... Uh, you know, I, I actually wouldn't attack, is what I want to say. Okay, remax. I would, I would just be, okay, you know, he's behind, I can take this base, maybe I'll go take the high yield. Um, or something. I like the Void Ray tech. I think it's fantastic, especially if he doesn't check it out. Man, this is like immediate overload, overload day. I'm just thinking out loud, I apologize. Um, get that mothership out ASAP, though. The second that finishes, I can't tell you enough how important the mothership is in this matchup. Okay, it's coming. So it needs to be chrono boosted continuously. The forge needs to be chrono boosted. Robos and stargates need to be chrono boosted continuously. Okay, and we don't have any uh, oh, cannons shit. at Achilles' bases. Right? Uh, up here, I don't know. What are you shitting about? Uh, I didn't have a robotic support bay anymore. You ah. it. I forgot to rebuild it. Now you're at 78 harvesters, so you're about where you want to be. You don't want to make too many more. I have um, two fleet beacons. That's. Yeah. That seems to work. In case one dies, and then the one right next to it can uh, carry on. How about carriers? Uh, I like them, sure. You are close to maxed out, so I mean, you're only going to end up making like one or two. But get your whole army together. And one thing I don't like is I will, I'll do a little cheat for you. He's got an observer just following you. Yeah, I, I, I saw them and I keep forgetting about them. It's like, I know. So if you ever go mothership, it's actually worth your while to upgrade speed. Well, here he is. Don't engage until you get the mothership out. They and don't. hopefully you can kill his observer. Do you have one? Uh, it's coming. They're coming. Okay, I would literally wait. Now you've got the mothership, but it's not really doing anything for you because he can see you. So get that Shit. observer over there. Uh, now he can't see you because <laughs> you just... And I'll explain that in a second. So the observer is actually high priority. So what happened is the second you got detection of his observer, even if you didn't tell your stuff to attack it, your stuff killed it first. Really? So he I did actually, not know that it was higher yep, priority. It is. So he was on attack move. So the second you went invisible, his Colossus just walked forward into the grindstone. Now, if you ever went to fight that decisively, and... Now it's time to go push it. Yeah, exactly. You're already maxed. I was going to go crush his uh, expansions in order. Yep. Keep the forge going. If you are going to go air units like you are, you need to upgrade on the Cybernex core. F1 to watch for probes are not doing anything. Okay. Stay with that mothership. Now here's the important spell, my friend. Vortex. When his army shows up, vortex his army and you're gonna sit outside of it and your Colossus are gonna one-shot his army. It is actually okay. the coolest thing. Don't get too far ahead. Wait, 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 wait. PvP, I mean, it's very precarious. You lose this army, you're not necessarily gonna still win. Get it all bunched up, get on top of your stuff, and Vortex his army. Now the fact that he's not coming here to contend with you means that you 
should have this in the bag, and the only way you can lose is, is with the bad engagement. Here he comes. Vortex it. Yes, now hold position outside. Don't go in. Hold position. Hold, hold position. Move up closer. Get as close as you can and move the mothership up there. Now when he cobs out, one-shot that shit. Boom. Where did it go? That is awesome. You killed your mothership. Who cares? Remake another one right now. That's game. I mean, there's no coming back from that. Now make sure your army sticks with your Colossus. Back at home, you can do things like permanent boost upgrades. You've got a bunch of probes that you're natural and need transferring. Still didn't upgrade uh, air attack for airships on the Cybernetics Core. That is something you want to do. Yeah, still maxed. I want to build carriers. Oh well. Yeah. I, you know, if you're max, who cares, man? You're doing an awesome job, right? Yeah, I guess. Can't complain too much. Shit, he keeps rebuilding everything so fast. Yeah, he did a really good job producing, uh, putting his infrastructure in place. He's got, let's see, this is three, six, seven, fifteen gateways. I only have three robots. Yep. Jeez. So one thing I want you to take away from that. Okay, you had your army in the proper place. You looked to receive him as opposed to, there's his army attack move, right? And, right. and because of that, you, you diced him up on that left side. Now, your your first instinct after that was, should I go kill him? And, you know, uh, I think I think if you win with, like, a mothership or, like, five or six Colossus and ground units, yes. But I'll tell you what. Had you have gone off to kill him with three or four Colossus and, and the smattering of ground units you had, you would have got stomped. He did a fantastic job with his production. He had more probes than you by a little bit, um, and he had more infrastructure. So every time he lost an army, he resupplied, boom, right away. If you would have moved out, you would have just thrown your army away, and your infrastructure wasn't as well situated as his, so it would have taken you longer to resupply, and now you're in danger of losing that game. And it's just really important to note that uh, in PvP because it's, it's very much so who's got the army, right, and what does their army entail? Yeah. So absorb his attacks. If you win by a landslide like you did at the end of the game, then sure, go kill the guy. But if you didn't, then it's probably better to just go ahead and expand and sit on that army, knowing he very well can't come after you for at least another five minutes. And when he does, you should have this, you know, the same or better army. So it's basically your game to lose from that point is the way you want to look at it. And one of the only ways to lose is trying to end it too fast. Does that make sense? Yeah, it seemed like the mothership there, though, was the uh, the key in that last battle. Once it popped out and you got the observer in, everything just kind of, like, melted. Through. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Unexpected. The high priority, and, and then him not... I mean, yeah, he had the better army. Let's make no mistake about it. But with the mothership, all of a sudden, your army becomes godlike. There's just nothing he can do. Now, we're going to do the same thing. But this time, I want you to make the mothership a better time thing, right? And, and it's not your fault at all. I was like, oh, whoops, I forgot to tell you about that important thing I teach everybody. <laughs> yeah, the mothership. Like, what, what time does yeah. mothership come out? Well, it, it's, it takes up eight supply, so you want to start the Stargate at, like, 160, 170, Fleet Beacon, and then you stop at 192 and you make the mothership. It's got to be the, it's the cherry on top. Now, the other important thing to note, too, is your third was... Uh, a little bit slower than his, and so is your natural, right? So we just want to expedite that scouting a little bit. Also, you were uh, pretty pretty liberal with your observer scouting. You gotta know you can't park over their army ever. If you ever see their army, you gotta be like a like, oh my god, I'm breaking the rules right now, but it feels so good type of thing, right? Because if right. you stick around too much, it's gonna get picked off, and that's what happened. He like didn't even notice your observer, but he accidentally shot it and killed it <laughs> when he detected it. That's how fragile they are. But it's huge. I win most of my PvPs at that later stage, not because uh, Amazing Mike or anything like that, but because like I just deny scouting to them, and then I come out with the mothership, and they're just not ready for it. I wouldn't have been. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, no, nobody will be ready for this. This is it's it's at the top level, but it's uh, for whatever reason not catching on below that. Yeah. yeah.
Now, did you tell? Did you tell him not to forget or anything like that, or is that still a oh. possibility that he might do it? Nope. Yep. This is a. This is an organic PVP, my friend. I've just asked him to play with us. All right. But we can see he's not saving up progress at all, and that's normal. No. You guys are close positions. You're chromosing out of zealots. Yeah. Typically, I wouldn't do that, but uh, it's not like it's the end of the world. Uh, I just you forgot it for a little bit. And I wanted to get it done soon so my stalker wouldn't be too horribly delayed. Okay, that's fine. And you picked off his probe, so the world has returned to normalcy. Yeah. You do need to check, though. Like you, you Attacking the pylon's fine, but it has to be in between checking the gas and stuff. Watch the probe, watch the probe. So you see chromosing the gateway, don't leave. You need to check his gas. If he's taking his gas and you're like way behind, then you're in trouble. There it is. Okay, so take your gas. And you can see that he actually didn't save up Chrono Boost at all. And he's got nothing coming off the gateway yet. So you need to look at that with the utmost confidence that you can actually just totally add, you know, your supply block here. So you want to watch that. Totally a couple pylons. The 26 supply block keeps killing me here. You're not alone, my friend. And this time we can do the two gate and then robo, right? Okay. So you'd even do it right now. Exactly. The next unit you want out of that gateway is probably going to be a sentry. And when you add a third gate? Um, pretty situational, but like in this case, you have the money for it, I'd do it. Sure. One thing you need to do though is you got to be up against that ramp. See, I, I mean, your army's not strategically placed at all. I think we can agree on that. Yeah. You want your probe to stick outside its base like you are, but it's been spotted. So its time on this earth is gone. That's fine. Just get that observer over there ASAP. Keep the probes coming out. You're doing a fairly good job of that. Good supply buffer here. Put on my Nexus now? Sure. We can be those guys. Now, don't make any more gas units, okay? So one stalker, two sentries, that's fine. But we're relying on the Robotech. Okay. Well, I should have enough gas soon. I want it to be a Colossus race. got Robo as well. Yep. yep. Looking pretty similar. Right? So check the expansion his army and get out. You did see that Robo is making something. I didn't see a support bay though. That's fine. So you can hang out a little bit while if you want, but I would, I would be careful. And his army does look uh, not as scary. Or it has more gas heavy units, so I don't think he would have the Robo bay yet, would he? Nope. nope. So he's probably behind you, but here's what I don't like. Be very careful with that server. You can't just park there, man. You really can't, I gotta tell you. It's almost always gonna die, and if you're up for throwing observers away, then that's that's your own prerogative. Get those Colossus out, you need gas pretty quick. Actually not as quick as I was thinking though. So keep it, keep these probes coming out. And now there's no more point in uh, being at the top of the ramp. Get that Colossus over to the cliff corner, start the range ASAP. You wanna go range, then the second Colossus. Okay.
and his observer looks like it's parked over my base here. Yep, so he's making that mistake that I'm telling you not to, right? Yeah. And we're going to show him why. Good job spotting it, by the way. So now we can add the second robo once your economy gets situated, right? And then we just resume the last game. Same kind of antics. Make sure to keep chrono boosting range. You want to get range yesterday if you can. Good. Excellent job. So get back with your army. And get that Colossus right up against that cliff corner. And just keep chrono boosting out Colossus. Like I said, if you, if you ever find out, in these close positions especially, huh, I've got like seven Colossus and he's got three, don't ever be like, well, I shouldn't attack because in control said never to attack. Nope. <laughs> You can go kill him. Yeah. You've earned it. Next Colossus now. Boom. So see there's these little pauses between them. If you can get that minimized each time, then you're going to get them out faster. And then position them to receive him as well. So you did a fantastic job in the army uh, in the big fight in the last game. This game wants you to do the same thing, only even positionally. So instead of those stalkers, you should have made another colossus. It should have been a colossus. Exactly. I realized that as I was doing it, it's like reflex to warp me. <laughs> I realized That's that. alright. As long as we're building, it's a better future. Now your Chronobus is running up on both your Nexus. So make sure you watch that. Now in close positions like this, what do you do for a third? Probably like the 3 o'clock on the right side. You don't want to take the one between you guys. That's just death. I love the active stalkers, I think that's fantastic. I don't like that it walked by a tower though. Always, always grab the tower. I, I just hit the rally point to all the expansions so I could see. I should have probably had a rally to the tower, huh? Yep. Yeah. Excellent additional infrastructure here, very well timed. Although your third needs to be in, you know, it needs to be in relation to that as well. Okay. So I should just throw down a third like now then. Yeah. Probably, probably before the gateways. The gateways should come after the nexus. And again, you walk by those towers. So I mean, while you're there, you should check them out with your stalkers. If he has the towers and you don't, that's actually a huge advantage for him. He's going for the gold here. Yep. yep. And like I said, you would have found that quite a bit faster if you had the towers. Can I kill that, or should I just uh, leave it alone? Uh, well, you definitely shouldn't let him take it. Send us a couple of stalkers over. Sure. And he canceled it when he realized I, I saw yep. it. That's totally fine. Make sure to take your 3 o'clock pretty quick here. Or your expansion, rather. Oh, there's Zealots in your base. Pull the probes, get those claws over there ASAP. The only damage he can do is to these probes, and you're letting him do it. Don't let him kill the stalkers either. This should be just like a kind of a silly attack that never should have worked, so don't let your stalker die. Good. And now you can see how he did that. You can actually see a warp prism. So I'd warp in stalkers over there. As soon as you can. Because they're fragile. You got these gateways, you need to turn to warp gates, and then you need to resituate your gas. You've got one on one up the, uh, your main. Got gateways, you need to turn to warp gates. Okay. And now we're at that time where it's time for the Stargate, right? About this. I said 160 last time, but you know, 150 is fine. Okay. You'll notice I'm not too locked up in like specifics the further we get outside the beginning, and, and that's fine. I want you to be, you know, there's guidelines to, to abide by uh, prioritizing the Chrono Boost, or excuse me, the Colossus. Where the hell are we going? I don't know, I was kind of wondering that too. So get these uh, Robos, oh, never mind, the Forge are going fantastic, Stargate's great. You should have transferred probes a little bit faster. And I don't think I have yet. Yep, actually. I mean quite a bit, actually. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't have a toilet council either. No, gotta make that. Now here comes this whole army. I'd go kill as natural. This is not an important base. I'd cancel the upgrades, and I'd go clobber as natural. And I would kill the natural, then I would come home. Don't do a base trade, because you can lose in that scenario, but if you're on two bases and he's on one, guess who wins from there? And I love right. that you hit those probes. That's fantastic. That's very good foresight. Oh, look at those probes. Fry them. Don't let them go to another base. They're not making it anywhere. They're not making it anywhere. So you did a very poor choice. His whole army's across the map, and you actually just built a pylon right next to that new Nexus. I love that. Fantastic choice. Clobber the Nexus, then get home. Unless you can see he's coming towards uh, that place, then of course stick around for a while. But it looks like he's not, so you do want to leave. And then warp in and survive. If you win this fight over here, the game's over. Just completely over. Yeah, I have another Nexus going up right now. Back yep. to my expansion. You've got probes there already ready to saturate it. The only way you can lose this game from here is if you lose this fight somehow. That's it. So your your production needs to reflect that. I like the charge. Get those zealots with your army. Position your army to receive his. Um, you can resume those upgrades on the forges. You need to make one stargate at least, so you can start heading towards the mothership. And this is that same situation where there's probably part of you that's screaming, "What are you talking about? In control? I just want a huge decisive fight. Why don't I just go kill him?" Because it's your game to lose from here, right? Like maybe you do kill him, or maybe you lose your army and lose the game. But why play with maybes? Why not just wait until you know you're going to win? Right? Right, right. That's what I think, anyways. Makes sense to me. Beacon needs to go down. Oh, he's attacking his own nexus. Oh no, okay. God. I didn't see your zealots and I was like, what's happening over here? What is <laughs> Yeah. Why is he doing that? But yeah, you just saw his whole army. Exactly. Okay. You can keep doing this if you like. I don't know why he, you know, I don't know what he's doing. All these probes dying. I was coaching him. I would be yelling so bad right now. <laughs> what are you doing? He did it already. Good. And now you know you're on like three bases versus his. I mean, you saw that Nexus. It wasn't saturated at all. No, it wasn't. And most of his probes are dead. Yep. Unless he had some kind of hidden cater of, of probes, it's at least, or excuse me, at best, two bases versus three bases. So again, where is that mothership? Uh, Fleet Beacon is down the mothership uh, supply yep. block. Move your army to receive him, and here he comes. Get off that bunch. Spread the Colossus as you go, in between shots. Spread them. Good. And guess what? Guess who's going to win that fight? He's standing on top of himself. You've got more Colossus. He's dead. Excellent. Excellent, excellent job. And I'll tell you why I like this win. You outplayed him. You made the right choices. I love that the proxy pylons that harass... Uh, his expansions. I love that, you know, when he attacks your base that's across the frickin' map, who cares? I love that you had the peace of mind to pull the probes and, and hide them, only to rebuild it. So effectively, he killed, what, 400 mineral nexus and maybe a pylon or two? Whereas... Yeah, killed his natural. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, you've actually knocked him into a break. <laughs> He's like, I gotta go. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but you outplayed him. But here's here's where we're gonna get that improvement, okay? And this is actually super important because, as the guy who forgates, keep that under your belt. Like that, there's definitely a situation for that. There's definitely a call for that. But this is what you do when you're not doing that. When you feel like, okay, we're we're distance positions. It's a macro map. The forgate's not gonna be as, as effective. Uh, or you know, I just highly recommend you work on this. This is actually superior to the forgate if you can get better at it. Um, but here's where the big improvement for you is gonna be. It's absolutely, because this is already leaps and bounds better than the first game, and of course, because this is the second time you've done it, it's only going to get better from here. But you're scouting, okay, so you had an observer, you found out great information, that's fine, I think your observer plays okay, but where you lack strongly 
is w is with tower management. They almost don't exist for you. And I'll tell you what, he actually had both of them all game long. And that actually really hurts. Um, it, it's not even so much that he knows you don't have it. It's that he knows you're not you're not on that like <clears throat> if the map is lit up that way, it reduces the possibilities for him. Okay, so like he knows your army is not moving around for a flank. He knows you're not transferring probes down there for a hidden expansion. He doesn't have to extend himself to those possibilities just because he has the towers for so cheap. Now, if you knock him off those towers and you occupy them for yourself, especially when you have the bigger army like you did all game long, then all of a sudden those things are possibilities. And maybe he makes a photon can at the back of his base. Maybe he leaves a stalker back there. Maybe he literally just uh, has to send his army out there and your army's in the middle of the map and it traps him. It crushes him. Um, it's all these maybes and all these possibilities that fall to your favor. Whereas when you don't have them, it doesn't work for you at all. Okay? Does that make sense? No, yeah, I get it. I was definitely very lax with those. I, I think once I had the observer and I had it positioned in a way that I would see his army coming towards me, I kind of stopped feeling any need to get more information from the towers. And that's probably not the way I should look at it. Right. So, so just absolutely know if you have...